this video is about Russia Welcome to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe for more videos. So today we're going to talk about gauge pressure and with gauge pressure you need to know two things. The first thing to know is that the absolute pressure is equal to the gauge pressure plus the atmospheric pressure. And also you must know the value for the atmospheric pressure. That is one atmospheric pressure is 101325 Pascal. So we are going to take one example on gauge pressure. Please make sure you watch this video to the end. Stay with me to the end. So this is an example we are going to take to identify or to find the gauge pressure in this Newtonian fluid. So we finding the gauge pressure at point A. We need to find out the absolute pressure at A and after finding the absolute pressure at A, we subtract that from the atmospheric pressure, which will give us the gauge pressure. So let's see how I'm going to do it. But with this, C is going to help us something because we're finding the absolute pressure at A um, with this fluid from here to this place can be classified as what? A, right? But with A, I think A is having the same fluid with B. Therefore, when, if you've watched my previous video, I talk about pressure drop. Since they are having, they are on the same point, they are on the same point, the pressure at C will be equal to the pressure at B. So let's note that. So we're finding the gauge pressure at point A. We need to find the absolute pressure at point A. And we are going to subtract the atmospheric pressure from the, at, uh, the absolute pressure. So from this equation, you know that the absolute pressure is equal to what? The gauge pressure plus the atmospheric pressure. When you make change of subject, we know that the gauge pressure will be equal to the, what, the absolute pressure minus what? The atmospheric pressure. So we are finding the gauge pressure at A. Note that. So which, what we know now is we need to find the pressure, absolute pressure. That's we are finding the absolute pressure at A. Therefore, after getting the absolute pressure at A, we are going to subtract the atmospheric pressure from it. As I said, C is equal to B. So we should first find the pressure from liquid C. And when we do that, we know that we have PA, which is the atmospheric pressure, acting on what? This It's open to atmosphere. So actually, um, there will be an atmospheric pressure acting on the liquid, which is the mercury. So after getting that, we have this plus rho GH. The rho of this was given to us as 13,593 kilograms per meter cube. So what you do now is we do substitution. And since I'm using meter cube, I'm going to convert the centimeter to what? Meter by multiplying it by 10 exponent negative 2. And when we do that correctly, we are going to have the pressure at C to be equal to um, 151945.332 Pascal. Now, Forgetting this, we now come to A to find the absolute pressure at A. So we're finding the absolute pressure at A. We know that there's this pressure. So there'll be a pressure acting on B, and there'll be a pressure at A itself, right? So now we try finding the pressure at B. So PB plus rho GH, which is the absolute pressure at A. We are going to sum them. That will be the pressure at B plus rho GH, which is the uh, liquid here is... Um, is water therefore we're going to get thousand kilograms per meter cube times 9.8 times 76 times 10 exponent negative 2 so when you do that correctly you are going to get the absolute pressure at a to b now for this we know that pb as in the pressure at b is equal to the pressure at what c so we do substitution and we substitute the pressure at c here since pb is equal to p or c and when you do that, we get the absolute what? Pressure at A to be this. Now, we now find, we are going to find the gauge pressure at point A. What you do now is that we are going to subtract this 
that's the absolute pressure at A from the atmospheric pressure. And when we do that correctly, you're going to get 58,068.332 Pascal. Very simple. As very simple. So you need to put this in your head. Thank you very much for watching this video. And I hope you like the video. See you.